The Rockford Files, a television series that graced our screens in 1974, still stands as a testament to the enduring qualities of the industry. What is it about this show that has allowed it to remain a symbol of excellence, even decades later? Has a particular scene or moment from this series left a lasting impact on you? Perhaps it's the charisma of James Garner as the wisecracking private investigator, Jim Rockford, or the engaging blend of crime, humor, and character-driven storytelling that has etched itself into our memories. As we dive into some random facts about the show, we'll explore its lasting influence on the world of television and its significance to viewers like you. We'll also consider the most cherished memories or personal experiences you may have with the Rockford Files. We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below as they add to the rich tapestry of this iconic series. So, let's take a trip down memory lane and uncover the timeless appeal of The Rockford Files, a show that continues to captivate audiences with its unique charm and intrigue. The TV series The Rockford Files from 1974 was a co-production among three companies, namely the production companies owned by Roy Huggins and James Garner and Universal Television. Cherokee Productions, owned by James Garner, held 37.5% of the series, but the exact ownership split between Huggins Company and Universal remained undisclosed. During the show's fourth season, a contract dispute between Gretchen Corbett and Universal led to her departure from the series. This wasn't the only legal matter associated with the show. James Garner also sued Universal, alleging he wasn't receiving his fair share of syndication profits. After years of litigation, they settled out of court, but the exact terms of the settlement remained confidential. The show's production history and legal wrangling added an extra layer of complexity to its behind-the-scenes workings. These disputes and negotiations had a lasting impact on the show's cast and crew. It's an interesting aspect of the series, shedding light on the business side of television production in the 1970s. The English Football League club Tranmere Rovers, based in Birkenhead, Merseyside, have run out onto the pitch at the start of a game with this show's theme tune as their entrance music since about 1984. This unique tradition of using the Rockford Files theme tune as their entrance music has been a long-standing part of Tranmere Rovers' pre-game ritual. It's a testament to the enduring popularity of the show's theme music and its impact beyond the world of television. This connection between a 1970s American TV series and a British football club is a fascinating example of how popular culture can cross borders and influence unexpected places. It highlights the lasting legacy of the Rockford Files and its theme music in the world of sports. James Garner, the iconic star of the 1974 TV series The Rockford Files, had several nicknames in the show. His father called him Sonny, while Sergeant Lieutenant Dennis Becker referred to him as Jimbo. Beth Davenport simply called him Jim and Angel Martin, and Rita Kapkovic affectionately called him Jimmy. However, there was one nickname he despised Rockfish, a reminder of his prison days. Garner's character was comfortable with all these monikers, except for that one. This insight into the character's nicknames adds a layer of depth to James Garner's portrayal of Jim Rockford in the series. It's a small but interesting detail that shows the complexity of the character. Stay tuned for more intriguing facts about the Rockford Files and its behind-the-scenes details. Stay with us for further exploration of this classic TV series. Let's dive into an interesting tidbit about the 1974 TV series, The Rockford Files. In every episode's opening theme, there's a shot of Jim Rockford taken through store shelves. Behind him, on a pegged board wall, is either a child's toy or a 45 RPM single record. What makes this intriguing is that the record cover features a very young Kim Richards and Trent Lehman, who played the children on another NBC series, Nanny and the Professor. Nanny and the Professor ran for three seasons, ending during the 1971 season, making this connection a curious coincidence. This small detail in the show's opening sequence adds a layer of fun for those eagle-eyed viewers who spot it. It's a testament to the attention to detail and creativity that went into the making of The Rockford Files. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights about this classic TV series. The Rockford Files, the 1974 TV series, is known for its unique approach to private investigation. 
One striking aspect is that in most episodes, Jim Rockford gets involved with a co-star character, often an old flame from his past. What sets this apart is that these women are usually at least 15 years younger than him. In 1975, the show's theme song reached number 10 on Billboard's Hot 100 list, a testament to its popularity based on radio airplay frequency and record sales. This series has earned a well-deserved place on numerous top 50 or top 100 lists of the best TV series of all time. It's lauded for its exceptional writing and acting, but also for breaking conventions. Jim Rockford, the not-so-glamorous private investigator, doesn't always enjoy financial success, isn't always on good terms with the police, frequently finds himself behind bars, doesn't always come out on top in fights, and even hurts himself when throwing punches. The Rockford Files remains a standout in television history, defying norms and delivering top-notch entertainment. The character Joseph Rocky Rockford, portrayed by Noah Beery Jr., holds a special place in the hearts of TV viewers. In fact, he was ranked number 45 in TV Guide's list of the 50 greatest TV dads of all time. His endearing presence as the father of Jim Rockford in the 1974 TV series The Rockford Files left a lasting impression on the audience. Rocky Rockford's character embodied the qualities of a beloved TV dad and his role in the series added a unique dimension to the show's dynamics. Whether offering fatherly advice or getting involved in his son's investigative escapades, Rocky Rockford's character contributed to the show's charm and relatability. This recognition from TV Guide highlights the impact of the Rockford Files and the endearing portrayal of Joseph Rocky Rockford, making it clear that the show's appeal extended beyond its investigative plots and into the realm of memorable TV characters. It's a testament to the enduring popularity of the series and its characters. In addition to its domestic success, the show also made its mark internationally. In France, the Rockford Files was known as Du Cent Dollars plus Le Fries, a reference to Jim Rockford's signature fee of $200 a day plus expenses. This renaming showcased the universal appeal of the series and Jim Rockford's iconic catchphrase. So, whether you remember Rocky Rockford as one of the greatest TV dads of all time or appreciate the show's global recognition with a French twist, The Rockford Files has left an indelible mark in television history. It's a classic series that continues to be celebrated and remembered worldwide. And for those who enjoy a bit of humor, The Rockford Files even found its way into the pages of Mad Magazine, where it was spoofed as The Crockford Files. This playful homage in a popular satirical publication reflects the show's enduring cultural influence and its ability to be a source of humor and entertainment. In summary, The Rockford Files is not just a TV series, it's a cultural phenomenon. Whether recognized as one of the greatest TV dads, reimagined with a French twist, or parodied with humor, the show's impact is undeniable. It continues to resonate with audiences and remains a beloved part of television history. As we draw the curtain on our journey through the captivating world of the Rockford Files, I invite you to take a moment to reflect on your personal connection with this iconic 1974 TV series. This show, with its unique blend of humor, intrigue, and a dash of James Garner's charismatic charm, has undoubtedly left an indelible mark on the hearts of many. Did you find yourself rooting for the endearing and wisecracking private investigator, Jim Rockford, as he navigated the gritty underbelly of Los Angeles? Perhaps you were captivated by the memorable characters and unforgettable cases that unfolded before your eyes. Or maybe the series stirred memories of a bygone era, evoking a sense of nostalgia that's hard to forget. Whatever it may be, The Rockford Files has a special place in the hearts of its fans, and we'd love to hear your favorite memories or thoughts about this classic show. Share your anecdotes, the episodes that resonated with you the most, or the impact it had on your life. Thank you for taking the time to reminisce and share your thoughts with us. Your unique perspective adds depth to the collective appreciation of this beloved series. Stay tuned for more exciting journeys through the world of entertainment. Until next time, keep those Rockford Files memories close to your heart.